Hey, what's up guys? It's the Crypto Ginger here. Just wanted to bring you a quick tutorial update on Cryptopia Exchange. Um, before we get started, I just want to give you a disclaimer that I'm not here to provide you financial advice, nor am I a financial advisor. Uh, however, what I'm going to do is try to provide you with some examples that I have uh, used as my own method and how I look for specific coins here. Now, right off the bat, guys, you can see that we have Electronium as one of our examples here. And the reason why Electronium has been relatively popular as far as it being hyped up because it is a new coin that just came out that is offering the ability for your regular consumers to mine the coin um, via, for example, your smartphone. So that's just one of the attributes. As a matter of fact, um, I have a little more detailed uh, video regarding this coin and a couple other coins that I'll put in the link in the description. Uh, it should also be something that populates as a video option at the end of this one. So stay tuned for the end of this so you can click that video. Um, outside of that, guys, what we're doing is we're looking for coins that uh, more or less are sitting in the red. Now, unfortunately, this is going to be kind of uh, an unfair uh, situation because today marks the day where um, the Bitcoin futures started and started taking place through the uh, CBOE exchange. I've already done a video about Bitcoin futures as well. You can check that one out. Um, but I would imagine that everybody was taking their money or their coins putting it into Bitcoin so they can take advantage of whatever value increase might happen because of the Bitcoin futures uh, taking place. So anyways, long story short, all of these are going to be sitting in the red because we're using Bitcoin as our, uh, as our means for exchange to get into these other coins. So we are going to use again electronium as the example because currently we have seen uh, within the last 24 hours a small downward trend and what this is doing is helping us get a general general idea of a couple things one um, here we can see that it's been trying to create a somewhat of a support line uh, basically these candlesticks with the wicks going below that's going to be kind of the bottom line of where these ha will go as far as its support if it breaks that support and goes below that um, then it's going to have to find a new support line but as we can see here for this example big um excuse me uh electronium did go back up and went back down and look at this this is a small green candlestick here uh, beginning to form and this is kind of telling us that we might be taking another run up now of course this is a great example as well because we have a small little dip if you are uh, into trading you know that you always buy at the dip and you sell at the tip or sell at the top to make some profits well, let's just say that you took advantage of this because you saw that it hit what looks to be uh, somewhat of a support line and you bought in right around this area. We're talking about, let's see, uh, looks like we were close to 691, I believe. Well, as a matter of fact, what you can do here is scroll down to the buy and sell orders and see where the price of electronium is fluctuating. My apologies for my computer, it's running a little slow right now. Um, but there's a lot of activity happening right now with electronium. Um, a lot of buy and sell orders happening. And since we've been uh, looking at this coin, um, quite, a bit, quite a bit of activity is now starting to pick up here and the value of uh, electronium is starting to pick up as well. Um, so the price of electri uh, electronium is moving up slowly but surely. So again, if you bought here while we were talking about this, um, you could potentially see this go back up and you can start earning a little bit of profits. Something else to check out here to 
kind of gauge uh, how you can earn your profits or where to start marking sell-off points, use this little tool right here, this chart setting. Click Fibonacci lines. And once that's selected, you're going to have these red lines to generate. And you're going to see here where it says 23.6%. 38.2%, 50%, 61%, and then 100 These are basically indicator marks of potential sell-off points. Now, when I say that, I don't mean you sell off your entire, um, your entire amount of coins uh, or your position. You want to sell off small portions. So that way you can have still some more coins left over just in the case it maintains some momentum up. And so you can start buying, uh, or sorry, start making some of your profits back. So here guys, we can see if you bought here, we put the uh, Fibonacci lines up. You buy here, if you had a ball at uh, 691, you can tell that the 23.6% line is showing uh, roughly around the 700 Satoshi mark. Uh, outside of that, the 38.2% mark is sitting roughly around the 709 mark, 710 mark. Um, and of course, if we go up any higher than that, you can see that your 50% mark is there, your 61%, and of course, your 100%. These are good indicators, again, for selling off your coins to make some profit. Um, obviously, if you are aware of uh, major activity with the coin and you know this thing is going to skyrocket, you can evaluate with how much of your position you want to sell based off that. You might not want to sell off as much. Um, that way you can maintain gaining some profits from that. So guys, again, I'm using that one as one of my examples here. And another one I want to use as an example is one that I just got into. Um, let's see here if I can type it correctly. All right, SafeX. All right, if you're not familiar with this coin, definitely look into this. Um, there is, I can't, I won't go into a lot of uh, description about this coin. This is generally focused on showing you Cryptopia, but um, I do. It's o'clock. My apologies. Uh, I do know that this coin just recently got some media attention regarding uh, it possibly being delisted from Bitrix. Now, once that information came about, and we're going to scoot this, uh, this back here, you can see that it had a huge major sell-off. And that's definitely something to expect when you hear information about a coin being delisted. Um, but in regards to that kind of information, you can see that uh, it created a dip. And had you bought in at the dip, you could start making profits had you set your Fibonacci lines and your sell points too close to those lines. So uh, you buy something, for example, on this kind of dip at 104 Satoshis. Well, guess what? Uh, it did jump up and it hit its 23.6% mark. And of course, it went back up. And we'd have this line going all the way up to 147 Satoshis. Now, of course, following after this, um, we took another drop down. So this would have been a really, really good selling point. Um, wait for the dip and, of course, start looking into possibly buying in again. Now, of course, we want to make sure we're looking for some support lines down here when it creates uh, this kind of flat plateaued look here. We want to see where the lowest candlestick is sitting and see and if anything else along the board uh, after that is getting close. And if it's not going below that, then it looks like we have a, a decent solid support line being created. And that's what we're showing here. Now, what we'll do is we'll go down here to the buy and sell and we're going to check the activity. And as you can see, there's not a significant amount of activity happening right now with the SafeX. Again, a lot of it's probably just based off the hype uh, of it being delisted, but it's definitely taking a rally back up since it's actually dropped down due to that information. Now, what I'm going to use here as an example, I know you've probably heard this one before because BitShares was also a coin that was delisted recently. 
And once it got the, uh, the word out publicly, well, check it out. That coin dropped pretty tremendously here, and it created this real big dip here. And as a matter of fact, once that took place, had you bought in here, well, you would have definitely made some, some uh, substantial profit there because guess what? It took a big turn back up. People bought at the dip, and the hype is there again. So even being delisted, de uh, bid shares is starting to make a small bit of a recovery. So yeah, it hasn't hit its all-time highs, but who knows where the future can actually lead this coin to, especially if it gets enough hype. So um, again, SafeX is uh, another coin to potentially look into, uh, knowing that it has, uh, it has dropped pretty tremendously there. Um, uh, due to that information being delisted. But again, a good time and a good opportunity to possibly look into buying at the dips. Um, using the chart here on CoinMarketCap, just to give you guys a general idea, uh, we have what looks to be a pretty significant dip there. It did jump up in price, um, of course, going back down. And now we can look at that coin in the uh, Cryptopia and see if this is something that might have some potential. Check this out. While we were talking, it jumped up, up an entire Satoshi. So um, it looks like it's on its way up. Another great example as to uh, when to buy in. Um, guys, I apologize for this being long-winded. I wanted to make it a short tutorial, but I wanted to give you a general idea of how to look at uh, coins using exchanges such as Cryptopia. Um, I know it's not the most uh, popular and there's not as much volume, but it's a good uh, exchange for new people to get into and start getting a little more acclimated to how uh, trading coins is going to be. Uh, the most important thing, guys, do your own due diligence. Research, research, research. Check out Twitter pages. Check out YouTube sh uh, channels that specifically talk about coins that you might uh, find an interest in when you're searching through Cryptopia. Um, outside of that, guys, just experiment. Take a couple bucks here and there if you'd like and put it towards a coin so you can get a general idea of how to... Um, wager your trades there. So uh, I hope this explains a little bit in the way of what to look for and how to evaluate these coins when dealing with Cryptopia uh, and these candlesticks here. And of course, using that Fibonacci, uh, those Fibonacci lines to evaluate sell-off points. So uh, outside of that, guys, I do appreciate you guys being a part of my channel and the community. I am forever growing here. This number of subscribers is growing, uh, growing exponentially, and I am going to maintain pumping out as much content as I possibly can for you guys. I, I truly, truly appreciate you guys. And one last thing. If you have a smartphone, download Blockfolio. The reason why, you can go in there and pick the coins that you have already started investing with in Cryptopia, and you can literally list them at the price points you bought them at and the amount of coins that you bought them at, and it will actually keep um, all that information relative to um, how much you bought it for. Again, uh, it will tell you and keep you updated on how the charts are basically moving for those particular coins. So you don't have to maintain looking at these charts all day long. You can just use your Blockfolio account. Like I said, set your coins, set the amount of coins that you bought and the price that you bought them at, and even set the date at which you bought them at so the, this program knows exactly what to look for. Um, and how to keep you updated. I personally live by it because it keeps me informed of m how much money I have now. And of course, you can set alerts on that block folio as well. So check that out if you have a smartphone. Um, and like I said, guys, thanks again for watching my channel. I really, truly appreciate it. And I hope you have a wonderful night. Bye-bye.